Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Seems like I've seen you before. Like moments ago. So you're in charge of Diablo, so what's your responsibilities? Uh, I'm just general manager. I oversee all everything, all things Diablo. So, you know, Diablo 3, Diablo Mortal, Diablo 2 Resurrected, Diablo 4, and, and anything else we do. Is it kind of like when you walk around the office, everyone, you're the Diablo? <laughs> Uh, I had someone call me the prime evil of Diablo, so yeah, I think that's kind of how we think about it. When you see the project unfolding and unraveling, not unraveling, like unfolding, it's coming out, yeah. and what are the things that you're looking for to make it different than what it's been in the past? Oh, I mean, it was really about, you know, Diablo 3 was 11 years ago, and so we really wanted to, when we brought Diablo 4, we wanted to have a mixture of that sort of nostalgia for the past, like paying respect. We're standing on the shoulders of giants, right, with everything that's come before, so it was really like, how do we take what we respect and love about Diablo 1, 2, and 3, and then how do we innovate with things like the shared open world or freedom of choice and so it's been really exciting the reviews have been amazing you know and the team has been working so hard for so long and so to see it finally we're like 20 hours away from launch and so we're just excited to get it in players hands when you have the players put to you give you input and stuff have you guys used a lot of their input yeah, absolutely. You know, ever since we announced in 2019, we've been doing quarterly like updates to the, to the fandom, and we did a lot of public testing, and we took their feedback, and people saw that when we did the open beta. After we had all that feedback, as we went into the next one, Server Slam, we showed them here's all the stuff we heard and changed, and so yeah, it's a huge part of what we do at Blizzard is we want to get that fan feedback. I just saw all the reviews. Every review is great. Everybody loves everything about it. So, so are you going to get some type of award or a raise? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> My boss is behind you, so you can do. I tell him that. Hey, that Mike. Great. Mike. You Give him a raise. <laughs> need, come on! All the review, all the numbers are going to be up. Um, let's, hey, let's get that yacht going. Yeah, you weren't filming the thumbs up on the raise, by the way. That's not good. <laughs> so I'm trying to help you out here. Okay. Right, I appreciate it. No, but you know what? It's, it's, it looks really great. Like everything, every aspect about it, all the additions and the outfits and players and levels, so potions and loot and everything looks yeah. amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's been you know, like I said, it's been years in the making, and uh, we're just really. Like, you know, it's, this is Diablo belongs to the fans as much as it belongs to the dev team, and so we're just really excited to have that ability to bring it out now. And really, the launch of Diablo 4 is just the beginning. You know, we're going to support it for years and years to come. So we see this as building a foundation, the start of something, not the end of something. Last thing, have you seen the venue inside? I have. It's amazing. It is the best I've ever seen for a, a release of a video game. Yeah, the whole premise is that it's a bunch of heroes are coming together called the Convergence. We're at the Cathedral of Life to receive Inarius's blessing before we go fight Lilith tomorrow. And so this is the party before the big fight. And so you go in there, you talk to all the different classes, you kind of figure out what kind of champion you want to be. Uh, I think I'm probably going to end up being a druid even. I play a necromancer, but I look like a druid. <laughs> so, and then, uh, yeah, and this is just going to be a good time inside. Great talking to you and great job. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. We'll be right